Do you know your breaks from your trousers? New research at the university suggests that how we select words from a dialect is different to how we select words from a different language. Dr Alyssa Mellinger explains. There's really not a good definition of what distinguishes a language from a dialect. And so I thought this was an opportunity to look for psychological processes that might differentiate the two because we know a lot about bilinguals and how they differ from monolinguals. And so I was interested in looking at bidialectals, people who speak more than one dialect, to see where they fit in that larger picture. In Britain, I have to talk about uh, lifts and spanners and rubbish. And when I go home to America, it's quite difficult to ensure that I switch over to American and make sure that I say wrench and elevator. If I show a Scottish participant a picture of trousers and they want to say trousers, but then I simultaneously play the word breeks, which is a Scottish word for trousers, over headphones, will that make them faster, like a bilingual, because the meanings are the same? Or will that make them slower, which is what you'd expect in monolinguals, because the meanings are too similar? What we found is that for this particular dialect pair, Scots and, let's say, Standard English, um, and for this particular task, naming pictures under distraction, um, the participants are behaving like speakers of one language, not like speakers of two language. And that tells us that these dialect words must be um, combined into a single lexicon or a single dictionary.